So this uh, new engine that Toyota has put in the uh, Capstone uh, Tundra and some of their other Tundra models is pretty darn remarkable and it's really changed the game of the uh, half-ton truck for Toyota. The other 5.7 that they used to have was a, a die-hard engine and really made a name for itself. But this new Hybrid Max puts out 437 horsepower and 583 foot-pounds of torque. It's truly a beast. And uh, towing capability is increased over the old 5.7 liter engine. I think this truck now could tow up to 13,000 pounds, where on the 5.7, you were only able to pull up to 10,000 pounds. So I went ahead, fired it up, turned the headlights on. A really aggressive look. I really like the uh, refined touches of the chrome grill that they put on the capstone. I like the black grill too on the TRD off-roads and your SR5s, but you know, for this kind of a truck, this is a luxury truck, right? This, this rivals the luxury in this vehicle, rivals that and what you're gonna find in most uh, luxury sedans. Uh, massive screen on the inside, just a real uh, burly, aggressive look on the front end. I love how uh, they match the wheels up with the grill and the other uh, chrome uh, touches and finishes that they've put on the capstone truck. Uh, these mirrors are pretty darn awesome. Not only does uh, they have the turn indicators and the side view mirrors, as you can see right there, but also this does have the bird's eye view camera, the 360 degree view uh, that shows up on your massive uh, touch screen. I mean, look at that. There's about the same amount of room as this in this that you're gonna find in most uh, uh, long body sedans. Love the two-tone interior on this truck. Uh, they've really put uh, just all the detail and the, uh, the fine touches on this rig. One thing Toyota has always done well is their soft, uh, soft down tailgate. So there's hydraulics in those tailgates and they just uh, fall right on down nice and easy, no slamming. Capstone truck not only does it have your rear backup camera, you could also see it has the uh, uh, bed light that shines down uh, over the bumper. Also on the capstone, not only do you get the 360 degree view cameras, you also get front and rear parking sensors, really nice. Touch. I mean, the last thing you want to do is spend spend the kind of money on a truck like this and back it into something. Another really cool feature right here is this little button they've embedded to where if you don't want to use the gate uh, or the handle on the back of the bed, you're just walking up to the bed. You push this little button, your tailgate drops down, you have a lower bed step that drops down as well. Uh, this is really, really awesome. And that's a real durable bed step too. Uh, really nice touch on their chrome-tipped exhaust. This is the engine compartment for the uh, Tundra uh, Crew Max with the uh, iForce Hybrid Max engine. Uh, one thing uh, Toyota has always done a great job at is they make sure everything is labeled clearly. It's a nice, clean look. You don't see wires and hoses. Well, you do see wires and hoses, but they're not just running everywhere. And everything is labeled clearly. Anything in the orange is your hybrid system and your hybrid cables. So those were some main features of the exterior of the Capstone Crew Max Tundra. You can, not in the Capstone, but the, uh, this body style Tundra, this is the first body style Tundra where you can get a Crew Max truck, and, which is the large cabin. You can get the Crew Max truck with the large cab and also get a six foot bed. Now on the Capstone, it still comes with the five foot bed. So let's take a look at the inside of this cab here and uh, show you some of the uh, cool features that this capstone offers. I just got to show you the quality and the craftsmanship of this interior. Not only do you get your memory seats and your windows and uh, mirror switches, you also get the power folding mirrors, as you can see right there, just folding right in and out. And then, uh, but I just wanted to kind of show you the, the stitching on this uh, door panel. This is all soft touch materials like the soft text materials uh, that uh, at Toyota has uh, been using in a lot of their, their vehicles these days. Now your seating is all genuine leather, but even look down at this, it's even just your uh, just a really nice speaker cover. Genuine leather seats, uh, perforated seats, two-toned. Uh, love the cream and the black and how that goes together. Uh, you have a multi-way power adjustable driver seat with front knee bolster. So for on those long road trips, if you're uh, cruising across country or even cruising out of state, um, 
your your legs uh, will get less fatigued by using this. It just rolls up right underneath the uh, back of your kneecaps there. Complete power on the uh, adjustable tilt and telescoping steering wheel so you can move it in and out, up and down. No need to pull a lever down on the capstone. A button right here on the steering wheel to go side to side so you can see some of the, the controls. So that is your built-in compass. Of course, you have your audio system. If you want your screen to be 100% uh, maps, you can have your stereo show up right there. Uh, this is your, uh, when you input a trailer, hook a trailer up to it, you'll get your uh, feed out for your uh, integrated uh, uh, trailer brake regulator. Of course, you can control all of your uh, safety systems, your lane departure assist, your pre-collision, your blind spot monitors, your parking sensors, rear cross traffic alert tire pressure monitor really I just love the buttons and how they're all all designed you turn your temperature up and down just right on these top buttons it's either an up or down or you just click these buttons here to get whatever uh, kind of temperature or mode of your HVAC system you're looking for dual independent climate control system is always a plus too uh, these buttons right down here this is uh, when you hook a trailer up this is your tow mode of course you do have your uh, 360 degree view camera mode there when you hit that button this is really an awesome feature yeah, this is what it looks like with your backup camera on uh, so not only do you have your dynamic grid lines that when you turn the wheel it shows you exactly the direction of how you're backing it up which is uh, awesome you know if you're uh, trailering or going down a boat ramp or uh, even just backing up in uh, the walmart parking lot here is all touch screen you can zoom in you can zoom out at different angles, which is pretty impressive. So if you really need to get close up to something and need to see how far away you are from hitting that item, uh, you can easily just uh, touch the portion of the screen you wanna take a look at and it will zoom in for you. I love the cleanliness and uh, the tight finish on your four wheel drive system. Center console is massive. Nice armrest for driver and passenger. Everybody gets their own space in this truck. Little cargo bin additional right up there too. Lift, slide that in, and then you got this massive bin uh, right down there. You do have your dual USB ports. Of course, your change holders and a little sliding cup there as well. The whole system does lift up. And uh, so if you need more room or need to access more, you, you can. Should be a little light that shines on there at night. So if you need to get into your center console, it's well lit. So the capstone also comes with a panoramic sunroof and slidable uh, sunshade. Goes all the way back. Pretty remarkable. I love this panoramic roof in the Tundra capstone. And then, uh, of course, the top lifts up if you need, it, need to ventilate it. And then slides completely back. Slides up over the top of the, uh, the back seat glass. But nice big open area goes all the way back if you needed to which is nice you just hit that button your back window completely drops down it's probably one of the coolest things uh, with the tundra uh, your rear view mirror in this is your digital rear view mirror i think that uh, is a slick feature that toyota has come out with so this is the passenger side dash here all this is your soft uh, material and then your wood grain up above that with a nice uh, piano black bar uh, right in the back there everything is just so clean you have your French stitching on your dashboard. It does come equipped with your heads up display. And so your speedometer and you could have your other systems that uh, will show up on the, I don't know if you can kind of see it flashing there on the windshield, but uh, will show up in hologram onto your front windshield. When they uh, had the last body style towards the tail end of the body style, they did uh, do away with the driver side uh, door handle or a pillar handle. I'm so glad they brought it back. It's so much better to be able to get up into the cab of your truck, not have to grab the steering wheel and pull yourself up, pull yourself up with the steering wheel, but be able to use that nice big uh, beefy handle right there. Glad Toyota starting to put the USB C's into their vehicles. You have your uh, 12 volt or 120 power outlet right there as well. Uh, even the rear seats have the heated uh, seats and the ventilated seats on both sides as well. Uh, this is a really neat feature. These new uh, Crew Max capstones, they come with uh, rear window shades. The seats do lift up. Your hybrid battery is actually below 
below here, but uh, you can lift those seats up if you need to haul cargo and don't want to throw it in the bed of your truck. It's all, it's all plastic lines. So you're not going to have to worry about ruining your upholstery or your carpet for that, but uh, pretty, pretty awesome. Now on the uh, non-hybrids or your older Tundras and even on the Tacomas, you lift up the seats and then on the bottom is rear cargo bins.